Okay, good evening, everyone. We are glad you could be with us. I got uh, myself here, my dad, Pastor Joe, here for our Wednesday night uh, prayer service. Uh, most of you know, we usually gather next door in the fellowship hall, but due to some of the health conditions, we can't really do that right now. Um, so we're going to get by and still have prayer service. Um, we all know that our country is in desperate need of prayer right now. We really are. Um, now, we're going to do our best um, to, you have to remember, we're not super technical savvy here, but we can figure some things out. Um, we're going to have, Dad is going to try to watch some Facebook comments. I'll try to watch some YouTube comments. Um, if you do, now we do have a list of uh, prayer list to go through already. Some of you let us know we're already aware of some situations that we do want to pray for, have a few scriptures we'll share with you. But if you do need prayer for something that we do not know about, don't be afraid to comment on Facebook or YouTube, and we will do our best to try and pick that up. Now, I do know the last couple of weeks um, we've missed, we apologize, but we have missed a few prayer requests here or there. Um, but maybe we got it ironed out tonight, and we'll try to get it all figured out to the best that we can. Um, and also know if we miss him, uh, the Lord knows too. He, he'll, he'll still move. Um, so just, just open up in prayer this evening. Father God, we do thank you, Lord, for another time that we can gather as the body of Christ, Lord. Maybe not physically, Lord, but spiritually, Lord God. We know that you are with us, Lord God. We know that you hear our prayers. And God, I just pray that you're with us for the remainder of this service, Lord. And we just give you all the glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Well, we have a list here, other than watching uh, your names pop up and welcoming you, thanking you that you're coming and agreeing with us uh, stronger and stronger, the more people we have praying. So some of our list is going to be this, President Trump and his advisors, um, whether you like him or not, he's our president. Uh, I think he's doing a good job, but he needs to have a lot of wisdom. Uh, as we're at this time, our economy is on life support. We want to pray for our first responders, military and firemen. They don't have the luxury of distancing themselves. they got to run into every situation. We want to come against this coronavirus again. I want all of you to agree with that on, uh, as we come against that. Pat Fisher had some issues. He's home today, so we want to continue to pray for him. Also, Adeline. This is uh, Annie's um, little girl. Uh, she might have an ear infection. She's been dealing with something for a for about a week, so they're asking you, uh, Annie and Jeremy, to pray for their little girl. And then just simply the spiritual state of our country is another list that we're going to go after. Remember Dot's father, Bob, has health issues, um, loves coming to church. Of course, we're not able to. And remember, we want to continue to pray. Again, first-line people is doctors and nurses, workers in nursing homes, doctors' offices, all kind of people now who are coming to the forefront with this uh, virus going on and then we even have our own military our own we have a number of well they're not children anymore but they were raised here we have mac in the navy shania uh, also in the navy i think shania somewhere out california locked down out there last i knew caleb in the army garrett in the navy somewhere i'm not sure where he's at either hunter maybe uh, new mexico and carter musgrave somewhere also out there in the navy so these are what is that? Five young people that's gone through our remedy that are in need of prayer. Uh, Vicki Hoagland, I hear, has, has headaches again, so we want to come against that. And last for right now is Kathy Sorensen sent in a prayer request for, I um, don't you know if it's a friend, maybe it's just a patient. His father, Walter, all alone in the hospital, not allowed to have any visitors. Blood clots also, need of healing and salvation. So let's... Uh, Right now, you and I, let's start with praying for our president. Yeah. Father, we come to you now in the name of the Lord. Yes, Lord. And God, we need a, a leader, Lord Jesus, yes, Lord. that is bold and Captain strong. General. But Lord, we need one that is godly. Yes, Lord, Lord, we need one that has advisors around him that yes. are godly. Like our vice president and others, Lord. We pray for President Trump, Lord. Yes. We pray that you would speak to him like no other. You'd make it plain and simple. And Lord, when those around him give him your precise plans, Lord, it would click inside him. He would just know. And Lord, you would keep him from harm. You would keep him from accident, Lord Jesus. You would keep both of them, all the leaders, Lord, from this coronavirus. 
Lord, you would keep them healthy and strong. I pray that you'd fill them with this power of Almighty God. And even through this, Lord, we pray for our president that he would continue to cry out to you and ask you for help, Lord, in Jesus' name. Ask you for help in this situation in Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Uh, another quick reminder, um, we are going to attempt to do a Friday night communion. Um, that'll be 7 o'clock this Friday night. Um, we know that this is the, the Holy Week all around the world celebrating um, soon. This, this Friday is Good Friday, and this Sunday is Resurrection Sunday. Um, I, I'm going to be honest with you, I'm just looking forward so much to Sunday morning to preach the Word of God again. I um, really feel like the Lord has been stirring me. I was texting a buddy earlier today, and I just feel like the Lord has something special in store. So I encourage as many of you can tune in Sunday morning. Uh, but this Friday night, we are going to try to do, uh, uh, if you have a time, 7 o'clock Friday evening, we're going to do a communion stream. Um, so I encourage you, find some elements. You know, it doesn't have to be grape juice and bread, just maybe something close to that, and we will... Uh, we will attempt to do a communion Friday night. Um, I know that we can't gather in person, but we still want to celebrate uh, the the death and the burial of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And then we'll restream again Sunday morning to celebrate the resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus. Okay, we're going to move on to the next thing on the list to pray for. And I want to let everyone know, I appreciate all the people, uh, at least on YouTube, and I'm watching it, all the people from New Hope typing in and saying hey we're praying with you we're praying we're praying and we're with you in prayer i appreciate all of you every last one of you is um taking your time to pray with us really do so let's pray for the first responders our military and our firemen father god we lift up these precious people lord these wonderful people lord god that we value and we need so much in this time lord god we lift up our first responders our emts lord our our policemen our state highway patrolmen our sheriff's department father god our fire department lord god we lift these people to you we pray your hand over them father god we pray lord god peace over their hearts lord lord when everyone else is rushing the other way they're rushing to the battle lord they're rushing to the emergency scene father god and lord i pray your hand over them lord i pray for our military men and women lord serving all over in this this world father god serving our country keeping us safe father god I pray your blessing upon them. I pray your blessing upon their families, Lord God. And many of them are separated, Lord God. Many fathers may be overseas or mothers overseas and their families are here leaving children behind and husbands and wives behind. Lord, I pray your hand over them all, Father God. Speak peace to them, Lord God. Lord, even use this time, Lord, to draw them closer to you, Father God. Speak to them all, Lord God. Lord, I just pray, Father God, that you keep your hand over our firemen, Lord God. Or keep yes, our police Lord. safe, Lord God. Our hired patrolmen and our sheriffs, keep them safe, Lord. Let them do their duties to the best of their abilities, Father God. I, I pray your hedge of protection over them, Lord God. Keep them, Lord God. We know that they have to deal with many ugly situations, many difficult situations, Lord. I pray you give them wisdom, Lord God. Speak to them, Lord God. I, I just pray your hand over them, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen, amen and amen. Amen. We understand that a lot of people are nervous. I, I don't know how old you can be, but I can't think of anybody that might have lived through something like this. Uh, I hear, you know, 19, 18, all that kind. But this is nothing I've ever seen, and it can get away inside of you if you let fear. Remember the Word of God. Proverbs 4.23 says, Keep thy heart with all diligence. With all diligence, <clears throat> for out of it are the issues of life. Amen. <clears throat> Excuse me, all diligence. That implies it's a battle. Uh, fear is tough. Fear can keep you up, and we know that fear has torment. So you and I are called by Almighty God to keep our hearts, and the only way we can is to fill it with the Word of God. So we're going to come against this coronavirus <clears throat> again. Now, let's all pray. Yes, Father, Lord. again, we come against this uh, virus, Lord. We strike yes, Lord. it dead in the name of the Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. Father, we don't care if the uh, virus is uh, invisible. We don't care if it's in California. We don't care if it's in Japan. Lord, we care that you will take care of it now in the name of the Lord Jesus. We're praying for all the people of faith, all those that love you, Lord. It'd be like they live in the land of Goshen, untouched by this virus. And Lord, those that are, we pray that they would call out 
to you, O God, that many would turn to you in, in the, uh, this battle and in this battle with fear. But, Lord, we pray that you would have your mercy. Lord, the Bible tells us that you remember mercy, Lord, during judgment. And we ask that you would and you would cause this coronavirus to die and stand still and not come back in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen and amen. You know, Pastor Joe was just praying against this coronavirus and I think of, uh, you know, the big buzzword right now is quarantine. Everyone's kind of quarantined and supposed to self-quarantine, supposed to keep this social distancing. You know, uh, I find it a little bit odd that this isn't the first time uh, mankind or humanity has been quarantined. You know, back in the book of Exodus when the Lord was removing his children out of the land of Egypt, which represented worldliness and paganism in the world, and the Lord heard their cry, and God came down and, and unleashed all these plagues on the land of Egypt. And that last plague was the Passover. If you remember the angel of the Lord, the angel of death actually came and passed over. And, and even then, it's just almost like today, everyone was quarantined. Everyone was sent to their places of dwelling. You weren't to be out walking around. You had to be in your home. And I find it neat that here we are all these years later and we're quarantined again. And I just wonder, is the Lord coming down now? Is he looking? Is he moving through humanity now and looking to see? Just like all those years ago when he was taking them out of Egypt and he looked on the doorposts of their homes and they had to dip the lintel and strike it on the, or the doorposts and the lintel, the blood. If that blood was on their doorposts of their homes, that angel of death passed over and they were unharmed. I just wonder, is God just moving through our world, our nation right now, looking for that blood of the innocent lamb, which is Christ Jesus? Is he going to find it applied to your heart? Will he pass over you? And so here we are quarantined again all these years later. Um, now, we have one of our own, um, Pat Fisher. Um, he's been, he's really have a, a rough winter. He's, he's battled a lot of sicknesses, um, but he's had a, recently a blood clot in um, did get some news that he's home today, so we still want to pray for Pat. I know that I uh, spoke with his wife a little bit, and he's he's having some issues with some pain and things like that. So we want to just lift Pat up right now. Amen. Father God, we just lift Pat to you, Lord. Uh, Lord, he's so precious to us, Lord. He's such a valuable part of our ministry. He's such a valuable part of his body, Lord God. And I ask and I pray, Lord God, for you to keep your hand over Pat and Christy and their family, Lord God. Lord, I bind any spirit of infirmity, Lord God, that's afflicted him. Lord, we call on you, for we know that you are the great physician, Lord God. I pray that you just dissolve this thing, Lord God. Lord God, we just ask, Lord, that you raise him up back to full functionality, Father God. Lord, I pray you clear up his lungs, Lord God, and any pneumonia or anything that's trying to hang in there, Lord. We bind any pain, Lord God. I ask, Lord God, that whatever Pat goes through, whatever him and his wife go through, Lord, that it serves to draw them closer to you, Lord God. What the, what the enemy intends for evil, Lord, you will turn around and use it for good, Lord. And I pray your hand over them, over that family, Lord. Raise Pat up, Father God, and bless him, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Got a request here from my other son, Joseph. Apparently he has a friend named Doug uh, and, his, and his family. His sister had overdosed this morning. Um, I wish people would just try the Lord as much as they try these drugs. Amen. Listen, the Word of God tells us this in 2 Corinthians 5, 7. For we live by faith, not by sight. My wife and I are just we're about the end of our rope hearing about this coronavirus. <clears throat> no matter where you turn, what channel you're on, the uh, commercials, radio, it's on everything. And it just gets so old. The Bible says you're to walk by faith, not by sight. So... Let's remember that. Let's get back in the Word of God and let's start walking not by these eyes or what we hear or see because they will produce fear. And let's pray for this family that my son knows. Amen. Father, we come to you now in the name of the Lord. And I pray for Doug's family. Lord, it's a tragedy. Jesus, another young person, Lord, succumbs to drugs. Father, I pray that you would whip through the young people in this nation. I pray, Lord, that a spirit of revival and hope would come to them. Yes, Lord. Lord, that they would see that card of faith that you've dealt to them, that they could play, Lord Jesus, and trust in the salvation-keeping power of Almighty God. Yes, Lord. Lord, 
Many revivals have come and gone, and they seem to always start with young folks. And we're praying that you would move upon the young people in this church and all the surrounding churches, Lord, throughout this nation. For, Lord, we've had enough of death, enough of overdosing. Lord, we ask that these people will now become full of the power of Almighty God. Move upon this family, Lord. Move upon them that you would turn this yes, tragedy Lord. into something good, something better than they ever thought or dreamt in Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah, okay. We, we want to lift up a young child named Adeline, uh, Jeremy, and Annie's uh, daughter. Yeah. Uh, just some yeah. sort of ear infection going on. We just want to bind that in Jesus' name. Father God, we just lift up this young child to you, Father God. And Lord, I just pray, Lord, that you bind this spirit of infirmity, Lord. It's binded in Jesus' name. Lord, we just curse it and pray that you just take it out of her system, Father God, and touch this young child, Lord. Raise her back up, Lord God, to 100%, Lord God. We bind this ear infection, Lord God, or whatever this thing is, Lord. We know that you are the great physician, Father God. We know that you knit us together in the womb, Father God. There's no one that knows the human body better than you, Father God, for you created it, Lord. And we call on you, our creator, Lord, our healer, Lord God, to touch young Adeline, Lord God. Keep your hand over her, Lord. I just pray that Jeremy and Annie continue to pray and continue to believe in faith, Lord, that you will do what is right and just, Father God, in their the young daughter's life and the life of their family, Father God. We pray that you just keep your hand over them, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 We're going to pray now for the spiritual state of our country. And right before we do, just remember when the Twin Towers were attacked and they fell and people kind of rushed to God for about three weeks. Uh, so let's, let's pray that God uses this virus uh, to change us spiritually in our nation, starting with the church, maybe starting with the pastors first and then the church and then the sheep. We've got to be changed. Let's pray. Amen. Father, we come to you now in the name of the Lord. Lord, the spiritual state of our country, Lord, is cold. Lord, we've turned our back on you. We've uh, threw you out of various yes. things, Lord, all through our country, business, government, schools. So, Lord, we're asking that this stirring that we do see and we do sense in people because it's from fear. And, Lord, everybody wants everything to go back to normal, but, Lord, we don't. We don't want to go back to normal, Lord. I want you to move like never before. I want the church, when we are allowed to be open, to be packed, and people to be thankful yes. that they have a house to God, a house of God to come to, but not for two weeks, Lord, but we would continue to come, and they would tell others about the goodness of Almighty God. Father, we pray that you would move upon our nation, Lord, that you would strike a match, Lord Jesus, one little match we hear can burn acres and acres of, of uh, woods in California. Yes. We're praying for a one match to strike a revival, to sweep through our nation. You've done it in the past, Lord, when things looked horrible and hopeless, and Lord, we're there again. We ask that you would move now, Lord, by the power of Almighty God. Fill the men of God and the women of God who speak behind pulpits. Fill them with the power of God, Lord, and that they would yes, thunder Lord. and bark from the pulpit like we used to, yes, God. Lord. Please, once again, Lord, move in the power of God in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Uh, I have a scripture I wanted to read to you real quick. and actually mentioned this one Sunday, if you remember. It says It's in Romans 8, 28. It says, and we know that it... All things God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. You know, remember that we see all this evil in our land, all these bad things, all these negative things. But God is on the move working to bring about something good. He can take something bad. He can take something negative. He can take something that we think or that strikes fear into heart, our heart or strikes uncertainty into us or strikes doubt into us, and God can turn that into something good to those who love him, to those who are the called. So really, this is the time for the church, for the people of God to rise up Amen. and to shine. You know, we need to be in our words. We need to be sharing the faith. We need to be telling other people. And I, I hope and I pray that everyone in the body of Christ, nationwide, whoever's listening, is using this opportunity to sow into other people, Amen. to tell them the, the inner fire that's inside of you, to tell them why you're not afraid or fearful or worried. It's because of the light of life is inside of you, Christ Jesus. And we know that all things, in all things, God works for the good of those who love him, who have been 
called according to his purpose. Remember that, church. Don't forget that. Mark that down in your Bibles. Write it down somewhere. Read it each time, every day, every morning. Romans 8, 28. That is a good one. Commit it to memory. Write it on, on your heart somewhere so that you'll know it. Whenever you're going through a situation, coronavirus or whatever it's going on, a, a visit to the hospital, a sick loved one, or someone passes away, you remember, if you love the Lord and you cling to the Lord, He is working about some sort of good in that situation. Okay, we want to pray for uh, uh, Dot's father, Bob. Um, he too has been another one that's Amen. battled a lot of health, health issues and We've been praying for him lately, so if you're out there, I'm going to ask you to please agree with me in prayer for Bob. Father God, we do lift up Bob even now, Lord God, and we do know that he's battled many things, Lord God. And Lord, I pray that through his battles, Lord, that it has served to draw him closer to you. Everything that the enemy throws at him, Lord God. The Lord, the weight of the curse of this world that we live in, Lord God, I pray that all of it, Lord, just confirms to Dot, to her family, to her father, Bob, that God is real, that his word is real. And I pray that all the things that happen to them, Lord God, draws them closer to you, that it brings glory to you in some way, somehow, that Bob's suffering brings glory to you, Father God. But Lord, we do pray your mercy upon him, Lord God, your hand of mercy. Yes, we pray your hand of peace yeah. over him, Lord God, Touch that him. it keep his mind, that it guard his heart, Father God. Lord, I just pray, Lord, that you hear our prayer, that you move on behalf of our prayers, Lord God. Lord, speak to Bob, Father God. Lord, I just pray, Lord, that any of the things that his body is dealing with, Father God, that you would touch him, Lord, with physical touch, we ask humbly from your mighty hand, Lord, on behalf of Bob. Even now, Father God, let him feel our prayers, Lord. And Lord, we just thank you for him, Lord God. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen. Know that we're under this shutdown order and we're really not supposed to be running around unless it's something essential and a lot of times you're just kind of left alone. Listen what this verse says. 1 Timothy 5.5 5 says, The widow who is really in need and left all alone puts her hope in God and continues night and day to pray and to ask God for help. Yeah. We know that the enemy, we know his tactics. We know he likes to come at night, in the dark, in the evening, midnight, and just maybe depress, jump on us with fear. Remember that verse. When you're all alone, continue to cry out night and day to Almighty God. Now let's go before the Lord. We're going to pray for the doctors and the nurses, those that work in nursing homes and doctor's offices, those who don't have the luxury of staying away from people that are sick, the ER, all these people. Father, we come to you now. Yes, Lord, Lord, we lift up this whole medical uh, realm. Uh, yes, Lord, all that deal with health of the people that are sick. Lord Jesus, from the doctors, Lord, and from the nurses, the workers in nursing homes, Lord Jesus, and uh, those in doctors' offices, Lord, please, Lord, we need you to keep them well, keep them safe, let them function in the anointing of Almighty God. Yes, you would put a hedge around them, Lord, whether they know you or not, Lord, we're asking you would just simply keep them well, for they need to be well, Lord, for the yes, welfare Lord. of the of the rest of the people. We thank you for them, Lord. We thank you that they willingly go to work. Lord, I've even seen where uh, nurses or mothers will sleep outside their own home in a trailer, sleeping away from their children because yes, of what's Lord. going on. Bless these people, Lord, and most of all, let them all find you, Lord. I've seen pictures and movies of uh, uh, doctors and nurses praying on top of the hospital buildings. Yes. Lord, let that continue. Yes, let Lord. it continue. Let it sweep through these people. Yes, but we need them, Lord. Bless them in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Yeah, it's an important prayer. Please try and remember, pray for our doctors, pray for our nurses, and uh, don't forget the nursing homes. A lot of these people, we really need to remember them. They're uh, really... Uh, lots of things going on in New York. Those people were seeing uh, scenes that they've never seen, almost like apocalyptic type scenes. So we need to keep these people lifted up in prayer. Um, Amen. Church family, I'm going to ask you to agree with me in prayer. We're going to lift up uh, a while back. Uh, Pastor Joe mentioned all of our young people that we have, even from this church, yes. that are serving overseas. Yeah. Um, we have Mac and Shania, Caleb, Garrett, Hunter, and Carter. Yeah. That's just a, a few people from just this little slice of the population in this little corner of the world, you know, out serving 
in protecting us and keeping us safe. We want to lift these people up in prayer. Amen. Father God, we lift up all these wonderful young people, Lord God, who are out serving their country, Lord God. Lord, I humbly ask for your hand of protection over each and every one of them, Lord God. Lord, we thank you for their service. We appreciate them, Lord God. We appreciate what they're doing. Lord, I pray that you just send angels to be round about them, Lord God. Wherever they're at in this world, overseas, in other countries, Lord God, in in dangerous places, Lord God, or even below the surface of the water, Father God, wherever they may be, Lord, we pray, Lord God, you protect them, Lord God. You watch over them, Lord. You guide them, Lord God. Lord, I pray, Lord, that each one of these people that have come through our ministry, Lord God, that as they're out in this world serving, They would remember back to the things that they learned. They would remember back to the youth program, the things they learned in the remedy, Father God. Lord, I pray, Lord, that the words of God come to life to them, Lord, as they're in dangerous situations, as they're away from their family, Lord God. Maybe they're lonely, Lord God, or maybe they fight off other feelings of depression or fear or doubt, whatever it may be, Lord. I pray, Lord God, that you speak to them, Lord God. Draw them close to you. Keep them close to you, Lord God. Keep angels round about them, Lord God. And I just pray, Lord God, that you speak peace over each one of these wonderful young people and not just the ones that are in our church, Lord God, but the ones all over the world. Lord, we love and appreciate our military men and women, Lord God. We appreciate all they do, Lord. They, They could keep us safe, Lord God. They watch over us and guard us, Lord God. And Lord, we thank you for them, Lord. And we pray your blessing over them, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Right before we started streaming, I, I picked up two uh, requests. One I shared with Vicki Hoagland having uh, severe headaches. And a fellow by the name of Walter. This came through Kathy Sorensen. Like I said, it might be a patient or a friend of hers. I'm not sure. But he's in the hospital. He needs healing, needs salvation, has blood clots also in his lungs. But the family feels so bad because they can't, he's there all alone. And so we want to simply let him, we want to pray that he feels the presence of Almighty God. Father, we come to you now in the name of the Lord. And we do ask that the hand of God would be upon Vicki. Lord, she's yes. dealt with this stuff for a long time. We simply pray, Lord, that you would just touch it, mend it, that it would be better tonight and forever so that she could be fruitful in the kingdom of God, that she could be used by God, not um, held up at her home because of a headache. Lord, you need all your soldiers marching in this army. Touch her now in Christ's name. And then we pray for this Walter, Lord. Yes, Lord. Lord, we ask, first of all, number one, Lord Jesus, that he would know Christ, that somehow, even in that hospital, you're able to get to him, Lord, through a nurse, through a doctor, Lord, whoever it is, it doesn't matter. You'll be able to speak to him, Lord Jesus, even by your own, that he would call out to you and trust you. And then, Lord, you would touch and dissolve these blood clots that are in his lungs, Lord Jesus, and Lord, that he would feel and sense the comfort of Almighty God. When he talks to his daughter who's worried, Lord, let him even say that I felt that there was a presence with me the whole time. God, you've told us you will never leave us nor forsake us. Here is a gentleman, Lord, that needs you, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay, we want to pray for our our own Fred. Um, Fred lost an uncle. I believe the uncle, if I'm right, even died of the coronavirus in new york in new york okay so fred if you're out there we want to pray with you church family pray with me amen father god we lift up fred and we we lift up the yes, family lord. of his uncle lord god that passed away of this uh terrible virus father god but lord like we just talked about that scripture in romans eight twenty eight, father god lord that you can take something negative and and bring good out of it, Lord God. You can trade in those ashes and bring beauty out of it, Lord God. Lord God, I just pray that you do just that, Lord God. Lord, that you work your miracle-working hands, Lord God, in those families, all who are involved, Lord God, those people that feel loss and heartache. And we know that there's many more people who have uh, passed away because of this virus, Lord God. We pray for all their families, all those who have lost loved ones, Lord God. We know there's many young people that's even passed away from this virus, Lord God. We pray for those families, Lord God. But, Lord, I pray, Lord God, that you do a good thing through this, Lord God, through these people losing their loved ones, Lord, that you would bring it about good. What the enemy has intended for evil, you will use for good, Father God. Lord, I just pray, Lord, that you even use Fred, Lord God, as an instrument. 
Use him yeah. as a vessel to his yeah. own family, Lord God, yes. to his own circle of influence, Lord God, that he would use this as a time to tell people, Lord God, about you, about your goodness, Lord God. Lord, about heaven, that there is a heaven to gain and that there is a hell to shun, Father God. I pray, Lord God, that you give them the courage, Lord God. Lord, be with the family members, Lord God, and comfort them, Lord. And comfort all those, Lord, who have suffered loss, Lord God, due to this virus. Lord, in Jesus' name we ask. Amen, amen. and amen. Well, as we get uh, winding down here, we've got another verse for all you New Hope folks. Or, or actually anybody who's listening. Remember what the Bible says. It says, even though I walk through the valley of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. That's the word of God. The, the rod is for protection and the staff is like that walking stick. So you know which way to walk. So continue, get yourself in the word of God. Uh, stay in it because it'll keep fear and torment away and you'll sleep. God says, I will give my saints rest and sleep. Do we have any more to pray for? Uh, no, I believe that is everyone. Uh, again, if we missed you, I think we did a little bit better this job, or better job this time. But however, <clears throat> if we did miss anyone, we do greatly apologize. Um, we'll try to get better as each week goes by. Um, we want to let everyone know how much we miss all of you, how much Amen. we love all of you. Um, I think that each day that goes by, each week that goes by, that we can't be together. Though God is doing something good and though we've gotten a really tremendous response, each day that goes by will build up an even better reunion when we can be back together. Yes. So we do look forward to that. I want to say we appreciate all the support, all the love, all the yes. prayers, um, the texts of encouragement, the yes. phone calls of encouragement. <clears throat> you people have been so encouraging to myself I know you've been encouraging to Pastor Joe. Amen. We just appreciate it so much. We appreciate every little thing. Um, and we, you know, strangely, we're finding just a little bit of enjoyment in this. We really enjoy just finding ways that we can be together. We really do. Uh, yes. It's just, it's been a tremendous response. We're going to keep going forward. We're not going to look back. We're not going to look left nor right. We're going to continue going forward. Right. However that may look. That's the direction we're going in. Amen. So we appreciate all of you as we love you. And we just, everyone stay safe and healthy. And God bless all of you. Remember, Friday night, communion at 7 o'clock. And then Sunday at 10 a.m., we'll be streaming another service. Amen? Amen. Amen. Thank you.